Welcome back everyone, John from Discover RC. In this video I'm going to talk about the different flight modes of the Vortex 250 Pro, how to set up your radio so you get all three flight modes, and also how to set up the OSD, which is very simple to do. After you bind your quadcopter to the radio and run the wizard, you'll have the flight modes available. First mode is acro mode. In that mode the gyros are on, but the accelerometers are off, so it's a full manual mode. There's no self-leveling of the quad. That really is the racing mode that people like to fly in because you have full control of the quad, you can go the fastest. But again, no self-leveling, so it's the most difficult mode to fly in. And just a quick word of warning, if you set everything up and all your radio switches are in the top position like this, when you first go to fly, you will be in acro mode, so the quad will have no self-leveling unless you make that switch beforehand. So just to let you know that. Second mode is angle mode. That is the easiest mode to fly in. You have self-leveling and center stick. That's the one you want to start with. That's what I'm going to start with. Easiest mode to fly in. Third mode is called horizon mode, and that is a mix of the other two modes in the sense that you have self-leveling and center stick, but you can still flip and roll the quadcopter. So it's a nice mix of the other two modes. A lot of people like to fly in that. Now when you first run the wizard, it's gonna assign the modes to the fifth channel, which on this DX18 radio is the gear switch right here. And as you can see, that's a two position switch. So I wanna put that on a three position switch so I can get all the different flight modes. And you can put it on any three position switch that you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the flap switch, which is aux one. So turn on the radio, press your menu thing here, and we're gonna go down to system setup. Hit yes, and your quadcopter does not have to be on to do this, you're just setting up the radio. And then we're gonna go down to channel assign, right there. And you'll see right here is the fifth channel, the gear. And all I'm gonna do is switch that to aux one, just like that, and out of it. That's it, that's all you have to do. Now. The fifth channel is assigned to this three position switch and I'll get all three flight modes. Okay, next I'll show you guys how to set up the OSD. When you turn on the quadcopter, the arming procedure is to put the left stick down and to the right. If you put the stick down to the left at the beginning, you will get into the menu where you can change the OSD, you can name the quadcopter, you can adjust the LEDs, you can do a ton of different things. So this is where you want to go in the beginning to get into the menu to do all that stuff. It's also the way you disarm the quadcopter after you fly. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the quadcopter. The radio is on and I just got these new batteries in. These are the 3 cell 1300 milliamp packs from Lumineer. These are 60C rated and are recommended for the quadcopter. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Here's the main menu that you get right at startup. If I move the throttle stick down and to the right, I'll arm the quadcopter, but if I move it down and to the left, I'll get into the menu and there it is. OSD setup is the first thing you have. You have LED setup, video transmitter, game setup, and then a lot of different things you can do. So OSD setup, I'm gonna use the right stick to toggle. So this is just moving the right stick up and down. And I'll move the right stick to the right. And there is the different OSD options. Easy OSD is the simplest one. You have Air Race, Heads Up Display, Gamer. So I'm gonna select back to Easy OSD, move that right stick to the left to get back, and then left again. And there it is. And you can see in the upper right corner, it's in acro mode. So I'll use that flap switch, switch it to angle mode, and then switch it to horizon mode. So now I have all my flight modes there. The main thing here is battery voltage. That's what you're probably most interested in. You have current as well, time, and that's about it. I can arm the quadcopter there, switch my modes, and go ahead and disarm it. But that's how it works. That's the easy OSD setup. Very easy to do, guys. All right, guys, there is a quick look at the different flight modes, how to set up your radio, and how to set up the OSD, which is very simple. This thing is very intuitive. It's very easy to work with. And while I was at it, I changed the LEDs to green to match the rest of the quadcopter. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Any questions or comments, please post them below, and I will see you next time.